morning, YouTube, Saturday. Got the fog out there this morning. Uh, 61 degrees. Man, by golly, we're 61 degrees, according to the Piper Dave Weather Station. Thank you, Dave. 726 in the A of M. That's it. I got nothing. Grab your cup of Joe. Let's go. Oh, my, my, my. Slept pretty good last night. I mean, really, pretty good. The P alarm only went off once last night. That's pretty doggone good. But it's usually at least twice. Not much going on today. We're making progress on the uh, black mold situation. She's mom's put in a call. So we're just waiting on a call back for that. He keeps saying, I don't think it's black mold. I was like, have you ever seen black mold? I said, have you ever got on your little iPad there and Googled black mold? Uh, good. Golly. What are y'all doing today? I'm waiting around on a text. So I can uh, give somebody a ride to go pick up their ride, which has been in the uh, repair shop for a few days. They said it would be ready today, and they'll let me know when it's done. So Tomorrow is range day with the boys. Looking forward to that. Then, of course, next week, we're back to the uh, rainy season. Just don't get it. It would be nice to have a week of good weather. Black Rifle. <sighs> oh, Piper Dave got him a nice looking pup. Sasha. Funny how things work out, Dave. But you got a nice looking pup.
I'm excited. I'm excited to see uh, Finn. Yeah. I'd love to have a dog, but not here. <coughs> <coughs> And then uh, the dogs that were behind us, ne actually next door to us, but behind us, because we're, we're on a curve. That uh, I made friends with, spoiling them, you know, like you're supposed to do. They moved. Now we're waiting on the new people. See what they got. They'll probably have chickens or something. Which I'm good with because they're tasty. That's what I had for dinner last night. Well, well, well. Things have been fairly quiet here on the tubes. I don't know. I got to do a little, got to do a little hunt and peck with the, uh, with the tobacco for next week's crack that crap open. I don't do that sound effect. I wish I could. I don't know how to do that. Uh, it looks like the fog might be lifting a little bit. I can see the neighbors over there on that corner. I can see their garbage can. You're excited. You're excited to know that. Uh, speaking of text, nope, not them. It's too early that repair shop ain't even open yet. They don't open till nine, I think. I knew the previous owner of the repair shop. He did good work. He retired and sold the business to his mechanic his his one of his mechanics. He's not in he's not in a big hurry to get jobs really done, you know. It's like, yeah, yeah, we'll get to it. Yeah. It's hard to find a good good mechanic anymore. To work on older stuff, you know. All this new stuff, all you do is plug it into something and it tells you what's wrong and you replace this little doodad and boom. Thousand dollars later, you're back on the road. Well, I'm glad all my trucks were before they came out with that deaf fluid 
stuff where you you'd be rolling along, having a good time, enjoying your your day on the highway, and the truck will go into a regen. Next thing you know, you're sitting on the side of the road waiting for it to regen. I knew it was only a matter of time when they came out with this e-check crap that they would figure out how to drag diesels into it. Yeah, don't get me started on that crap. That e-check stuff, that's a joke. You take take your car in, they plug it in, and it goes through all the systems and it tells them that you know that back in the beginning, man, you pulled in and they put your car on rollers and they ran it up to like fifty mile an hour and well, after they had to repair quite a few cars because they didn't know what they were doing, they came up with this system. It's easy to fool. I've done it many times. All you do is you go to the parts store. You pick yourself up one of them Cody readers for your onboard diagnostics. You can go in and clear all the codes and get your car checked. It passes, it pulls out, check the engine light, comes back on, you go on down the road. One of the easiest. One of the easiest workarounds there is. Well, I'm going to uh, finish my coffee, probably grab another. Watch some you boobs. And uh, wait for a text. If anything exciting happens, I'll be back. If not, I'll see you on Monday. Unless something happens, exciting happens tomorrow, like we go to the outdoor range and end up shooting a bear. Because we got, they got bear out there in the woods these, this year. Never seen a bear really up close other than at the zoo or when you're cruising through Pennsylvania along the along the interstate, you can see them up on the hill or something. But they actually have one where you can Ben Feather and Fur. Ooh, Anderson Lower for thirty nine bucks? Really? Okay. But to see one up close where, you know, it can actually almost like eat you, but the black bears are not, they're more vegetarian than car carnivores, you know, they, uh, they, I mean, they'll eat you if they're hungry enough, but they're usually pretty, you know, you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. What are you going to do, right? Hope you're well and I hope you're safe. Every day is a school day. If you're not learning, you are being left behind. See you next time. Peace. Wake up.